Did you know there are certain diseases that will affect the function of the hypothalamus? Let's talk about it. Your hypothalamus is absolutely vital for the function of your entire body. It controls your metabolism, your energy production, your weight, your temperature regulation, all of your hormones, your immune system, your moods, and your cognition. There's not much that your hypothalamus doesn't control, but there are certain diseases that will affect the hypothalamus. The first category of diseases are genetic disorders. The most common genetic disorder that the hypothalamus is affected by is Prader-Willi syndrome, a congenital disorder that results in uninhibited eating and morbid childhood obesity. Another genetic disorder that affects the hypothalamus is Kalman syndrome, which is a condition characterized by late or absent puberty and an impaired sense of smell. Both of these genetic conditions affect the production of hormones by the hypothalamus. Another genetic disorder, hereditary hemochromatosis, can cause a buildup of iron in the body and will also affect the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is very sensitive to heavy metal toxicity, and even though iron is a nutritional element, too much of it can damage the hypothalamus. Chronic malnutrition will definitely affect the hypothalamus. Eating disorders, both bulimia and anorexia, have a profound effect on the hypothalamus and cause severe hypothalamic dysfunction, leading to imbalances in hormones, infertility, thyroid issues, adrenal issues, sleep disorders, and temperature regulation issues. Malnutrition can start in the perinatal period. If a fetus is not exposed to the proper nutrition during pregnancy, it will affect the development of its hypothalamus. Maternal malnutrition during the perinatal period can lead to childhood obesity. Chronic malnutrition in children and adults can also cause hypothalamic dysfunction. The hypothalamus is incredibly sensitive to infections. That's because the hypothalamus is not protected by the blood-brain barrier. So certain infectious agents can cause disease in the hypothalamus and affect its function in the short term as well as long-term disability. The hypothalamus is affected by the neurotoxins produced by infectious agents. Tuberculosis commonly affects the hypothalamus. Lyme's disease can also affect the function of the hypothalamus. Cytomegalovirus is another virus that can affect the function of the hypothalamus for years after becoming infected. And Epstein-Barr virus, which damages cellular mitochondria, can affect the function of the hypothalamus. I probably see more patients with Epstein-Barr virus, including very high viral loads years after initial infection who have hypothalamic dysfunction, contributing to their hormonal issues. Most recently, it has been shown that the COVID-19 virus can cause severe hypothalamic dysfunction. And that's because the hypothalamus is rich in ACE2 receptors, the same receptors in the lungs and the cardiovascular system system that the coronavirus attaches to and causes disease. Immediate signs of hypothalamus infection can be visual disturbances, headaches, fever, and abnormalities in white blood cells. Most of the time you may not notice the early signs and not realize your hypothalamus has been affected until months or years later. Damage to the hypothalamus can cause issues with hormonal balance, including irregular periods and infertility, erectile dysfunction, mood disorders, including depression and anxiety, brain fog and cognitive dysfunction, increased susceptibility to infections, temperature regulation issues, unusual sweating, excessive thirst, issues with glucose metabolism and insulin regulation, leading to insulin resistance and obesity. While you can't always avoid diseases that may affect your hypothalamus, if you have any signs of hypothalamic dysfunction following an acute infection, you need to be evaluated as soon as possible. If you have signs of hypothalamic dysfunction and it's been a long time since you've had any type of infection that might have caused it, you will need to have your titers checked for the infectious agent, as well as a complete endocrine evaluation in order to find out the extent of the damage to the hypothalamus. If you have any questions about the hypothalamus or hypothalamus damage, why don't you join us in our hormone support group? You get free access through our free hormone reboot training. I have found that even with patients who have infectious agents that have caused hypothalamic damage, that supporting their hypothalamus with Genesis Gold and a little extra sacred seven amino acids can help their hypothalamus to heal and get their hormones back into balance, correct their weight issues, their insulin sensitivity issues, and their metabolic issues, improve their moods and their brain fog. I'll see you in the next video.